Safe and out of harm's way. These dogs were either recovering from treatment or in need of a new home, but their place of safety became an inferno. Crowds of locals arrived through the night to help emergency services, but many of the dogs couldn't be saved. Just my heart goes out to the staff, really, and to think, you know, the dogs. You know, and all, like I say, all those people in our parade, we all, we're all not bad people, we all work. Well, decent people, and this, what has happened, has shot a lot of people in our parade, it really has. The manager of the home is distraught at what's happened. It goes against why we're here, and the ability to find these dogs' homes has, has been taken from us. And how do you feel about it, outpouring of public support? <sighs> Overwhelmed. The burnt-out dog's home is now a crime scene, and a 15-year-old boy has been arrested on suspicion of arson. What happened here behind me has angered and upset many people in the local community, but it's brought with it an outpouring of sympathy and generosity. One fundraising page set up last night had raised more than a quarter of a million pounds by this morning, and donations are continuing to rise. Throughout the day, people's generosity even seemed to gather pace. By this afternoon, donations exceeded more than £800,000. The surviving dogs are being cared for in a nearby home, many of them very traumatised. Not only have they had to be in the ordeal of around the fire, then they were put in vehicles and transported to a place they've not seen before. How are they doing um, now? They're doing all right. They were very quiet to begin with, which is always a worry with the dogs. Um, but as today's gone on, they've settled. Meanwhile, offers of adoption and generous donations are continuing to flood in. Sally Lockwood, 5 News.